Welcome to the fifth lesson in the series on WSO2 API Manager. This lesson covers the topic working with security. A JSON web token, or JWT, is used to represent claims that are transferred between two parties, such as the end user and the back end. A claim is an attribute of the user that is mapped to the underlying user store. It is encoded as a JavaScript object notation, or JSON object, that is used as a payload of a JSON web signature, or JWS, structure, or as the plain text of a JSON web encryption, or JWE, structure. This enables claims to be digitally signed. When a request comes to the API gateway, it retrieves the claims needed and builds a JWT, which is added to the header of the backend service request. The backend uses this token to do the necessary validations. The JWT that is generated by default has predefined attributes that are passed to the backend. These include basic application-specific details, subscription details, and end-user information, all of which are defined in the JWT generator class that comes with API Manager. If you want to pass additional attributes to the backend with the JWT or completely change the default JWT generation logic, you can customize the JWT generation as required. When creating an API using the API Publisher, you can specify the endpoint of its backend implementation in the Implement tab. If you select the endpoint as secured, you are prompted to give credentials in plain text. By default, the Enable Secure Vault property is set to false, so passwords are stored in plain text. A password that is given in plain text in the UI can be encrypted by setting the Enable Secure Vault element to true in the API Home Repository Conf API Manager.xml file, and defining the Synapse property in the Synapse Properties file, and then running the Cypher tool. It is possible to change the default admin username and password in API Manager. To change the default admin password, log into the Management Console with Admin Admin Credentials and use the Change My Password option. After changing the credentials, change the same in the API Home Repository Conf User Management.xml file. Use the Change Password script to recover the admin password used to log into the Management Console. The Key Manager handles all clients, security, and access token-related operations. The Key Manager decouples the operations for creating OAuth applications and validating access tokens so that you can even plug in a third-party authorization server for key validations. In a typical production environment, you can configure one of the following setups. Configure a WSO2 API Manager instance as the Key Manager in a separate server. Configure an instance of WSO2 Identity Server as the Key Manager. Or configure a third-party authorization server such as Surf OAuth or OpenAM for key validations and an API Manager instance for the rest of the key management operations. Single Sign-On, or SSO, allows users who are authenticated against one application to gain access to multiple other related applications without having to repeatedly authenticate themselves. It also allows the web applications to gain access to a set of backend services with the logged in user's access rights, and the backend services can authorize the user based on different claims, like the user role. The single sign on with SAML 2.0 feature in API Manager is implemented according to the SAML 2.0 browser based SSO support that is facilitated by WSO2 Identity Server, or IS. This feature is available in any IS version from 4.1.0 onwards. WSO2 Identity Server acts as an identity service provider of systems enabled with single sign-on, while the web applications act as SSO service providers. Using this feature, you can configure SSO across the API publisher and store. After configuring, you can access the API store or API publisher in a single authentication attempt. 
When users log into the application, they are redirected to the identity server where the user information is stored and a SAML response is sent to the application so that the login is completed. This concludes our lesson on working with security. Thank you.